digital license plates become legal for all cars in California. Plenty of cool features, but it'll cost you. Oh, well, I'm down for it. Sounds cool. I'm sure there's a there's probably a conspiracy here of how somehow I'm being controlled mm. by my digital plate and my whereabouts and my tracking and so forth. But sure. uh, it looks like you'll be able to find your car, the car's location. That was pretty cool. I saw the the app. Uh, you could probably switch uh, your plates between cars. I don't know if you had multiple electric plates and definitely when it comes to um re-registering or updating imagine the digital equivalent of that oh and stolen my god your car gets stolen the plate immediately mm. shifts over to stolen so cops can see it right away safety yeah. notices and alerts damn so it's That's a screen so cool. digital license plates become legal for all cars in california after trial with a select number of drivers that lasted almost four years according to a new report in the los angeles times why would anyone want a digital license plate? Users can change the messaging at the bottom of their plates through a phone app so they can customize it and even give safety notices and alerts such as marking the car stolen. There's currently one company. Ooh, they're about to make some sales, Will. Mm. Firm is called Reviver, authorized to offer digital license plates. California drivers, the license plates come in two models, battery-powered or hardwired. The battery-powered option comes with a five-year or 50,000-mile battery life, according to Reviver. Aside from the app's personalization and safety notice features, there's also automatic registration and renewal features with the DMV. Everyone hates doing that, so that's a bonus on its own. Location services and trip monitoring features, according to Reviver. If a digital license plate sounds like something you'd want to invest in, there are some recurring costs. The plates at first are 700 bucks uh. with a monthly fee of seven during the trial period. But the entire cost is tied up in a minimum two-year subscription, which can be paid $20 a month for two years or $215 per year for four years if you want the battery-powered option. Cost. I don't know. It's people, a cool idea. It's very cool. But it's I don't, very expensive. No one's doing the 700 I don't. I mean, like if you got maybe on a, like a luxury vehicle or luxury, whatever. Luxury, yeah. I can see that. Definitely. But for the average person at 700, that's a little high still. But look at the look at the app and the features you're getting. Um, when I, a lot of cars have these type of features in them, when it comes to like where you parked it or whatever. Certainly, when you're talking about a Tesla, uh -huh. installation looks really easy. There's certainly a cool factor to go with it as well. I wonder which tech they're using to make sure that it's not like that it's bright yeah. enough to yeah. be viewed. I'm really curious to check it out, but. It's in relationship to the value of the car, I think, that you would be willing to do something like that. Would you do something? Well, like I would that? do something like that. Yeah. I would put it on an expensive car or something and and think that that's pretty cool to have, uh, especially customization options. Yeah. But I just, yeah. I don't like the recurring cost either. Yeah, $7 a month. But I think this is one of those areas where I would get it because it's just like fringe tech and it would be it more is, yeah. about the analysis and my ability to then speak to it because mm -hmm. of my awareness about it. So I would look at it as an investment into what I do for a living as well. Sure. So that goes into that weirdness around how I make justif justifications around things. Would I recommend it to somebody else? That's different. I feel like this is the future. Netflix is giving you uh, ad, ad, ad driven uh, Netflix for seven bucks a month, or you can have a digital plate. It's up to you. Yeah. But I don't know. That's another one where I really wonder about the pricing. I'm curious what people think, whether or not they'd pay seven a month for it. Well, you have to notices be and alerts and at, th at this point, probably rich and have like a fancy car. It seems like it. It, it seems like it to me. Uh, also, Okay. anti-theft if you have an expensive car those tend to be more targeted from uh like from a theft perspective in which case the ability to shift the plate quickly over to stolen mm. i don't know how easy it is to uninstall it but like it, yeah i don't know if thieves are bringing other plates like, i don't even know how that works but if you have a a high theft likelihood on your vehicle this could be another deterrent they'd be like oh damn it's got one of those digital plates Mm -hmm. I don't want to take it because it's immediately going to switch over to stolen oh, and the, for sure it has tracking. Like mm -hmm. if thieves fi figure this out, it could be a deterrent. I don't know. I mean, thieves will pretty much figure out a way to steal anything, but mm. uh, that might be worth it to some people as well that are trying to protect a, 
high profile yeah. vehicle or something. But it's California for now. Maybe there's a way we can check this out too. I would love to check this out. I know it wouldn't be legal to use it here, mm -hmm. but just in studio, just to see what it looks like, shine lights on it, see how it test it out, reflects yep. and uh, and use the app. That might be cool. Cool. Yeah. Thank you very much to everybody who joined us here today on the show. Hope you found it interesting, possibly even engaging. Thank you to Will, as usual, for uh, filling this tank full of fuel. Mm. Uh, although, whether or not he'll continue to do that in the future remains to be seen now that he's a Tesla owner. Almost what officially. Well, because you don't put fuel in the tank. Oh, okay. You no, I'm all gas. No brakes. You charge it up. Yeah. Well, it won't be gas anymore. It'll be just the accelerator. You're going to have to change. You don't okay, have a gas fine. pedal anymore. Sure. There's all this terminology you're going to have to become familiar with. Well, we'll find out how all that goes. He still has his order in there. He's going to call up Ford, figure out what's going on with the Bronco, and let us know. We're going to get all kinds of updates. For They're sure. coming very shortly. I mean, he even has to figure out how he's going to put his dog in the back seat. Like, what type of... Yeah. Uh, what are those even called? What are those called, those things? Uh, a, dog I, seat, right? Well, I was looking at them, remember? Net. I remember I was looking at it, it, like, protects your back seat from all the dog hair and scratches yeah. and when a dog carrier, back seat carrier, bed. Pet. It's not that, I don't know. Pet liner. Pet liner is what Will's interested in these days. <laughs> He's navigating the complicated world of pet liners. Yes. Trying not excited. to mess up the back seat because he's got the Otis and the Otis has the hair. Yeah, it's brutal sometimes. And then it's the donut sometimes as well. Yeah. It's a lot going on in your life and uh, we're all here for it, Will. Okay, so, thank you. Anyway, thanks for joining again. See you guys soon. Later.